Hi, I'm David Elder, and this is Texas Eats at the Rodeo. Today's show is packed with delicious rodeo bites. Plus, we're giving away a family four-pack of tickets to the fairgrounds, stock show, and rodeo, and a concert. But you gotta watch to get the secret word to enter. When you're at the rodeo, you don't want to go broke, so I've compiled a list of the best bites and drinks that you want to get when you're out here, all for under $30, and we'll have that for you at the end of the show. Thank you so much. I absolutely love cotton candy when I come out here, and there's a lot of delicious food to try. Let's go check it out. We're here with Brad Jensen. He is the owner out here at the Island Noodle House. Look at this thing. This is where you want to come to get some funky stuff. The rodeo is just going to surprise you with all kinds of different flavors. But you guys have been here for quite a long time, right? Quite a few years. Yep, over 10 years now. Over 10 years at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. What are you putting there? That is a sweet potato. Oh, you're wild. Look at you. You're just going at it. Oh, man. Whoa, hey -oh. Fire in the hole. <laughs> you are crazy, Brad. I like it. I'm, that was a scared face on David's face. How long have you been cooking? Ah, uh, 13 years. 13 years. Yep. I used to have a regular job at Ford Motor Company. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were like, you know what? I'm going to start <laughs> cooking. That's Look right. at that. Oh, my gosh. That's the secret island sauce. OK. So there's a secret to this whole thing. Now, did this something you just picked up, or how long have you been cooking uh, like this? Actually, a uh, Hawaiian chef taught me. Really? He came up with this, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going for it. So then you move it real quick. Yep. Oh, Brad, you're wild. <laughs> right out of the pan. It's on top of the cup. You put in all this chicken. It's like yep. dinner and a show all at one time. Yakisoba noodles. Mm. Really good. And it's straightforward. The noodles are cooked perfectly. Give him some elbow, man. Give him some elbow. <laughs> That's delicious. This is the, the funky thing that when you come out to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, if you've never been here before, you wouldn't know that you're going to want to come out and get some island noodles. This is so cool. I'm going to keep eating this. It's delicious. If you're looking for some great barbecue out here at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, you got to come out to Big G's. He's from Ohio but he's cooking up some killer barbecue, and he has some southern favorites on the menu that we gotta go check out. With me right here is Big G's, Gary Morris. He's the owner-operator at the booth, and you have these huge vats, like these walks full of food, and you have a bunch of them out here. Talk to me what you got going on. Uh, we got brisket, pork, green beans, corn, chicken on a stick. This is just a pile of tasty. That's what this is. You got the green beans and the corn just married in there, so they're just getting all the juices together. Talk to me about your nacho plate. Uh, it's called a cowboy nacho, and you got your choice between brisket, pork, chicken, sausage, or steak. And then we just load them up with chili cheese, salsa, jalapenos, lettuce, tomato, sour cream. Oof. It's called Big G's for a reason, y'all. Look at this thing. That's a big old thing of nachos. Cheers. All right. Give some love. That's delicious. This is like quintessential fair food. And you're doing it right. And if you want some with a little snap to it, well, they got you covered out here too. You guys got alligator. Yes, sir. Now, is it a special kind of breading on the outside? Or is yeah, it it's a tempura breading, our own breading we put on it with seasonings. And it comes with the fries and everything right yes, here. Yes, sir. Oh, that's funky. Yep. Awesome. That's weird. <laughs> that's good. Awesome. That's funky. I'm going go in for round two. Gary, thank you so much for hey, having us out here. You. Big G's food service. You guys come out here. I love this place. I'm just gonna live here. You guys got a cot in the back? I'll we stay. do. <laughs> right here with me is Andy Chan with Chan's Chicken on a Stick. And it's not just chicken on a stick when you come out here. You can see you got egg rolls, you have some chicken inside of a pineapple, you have teriyaki chicken, and you got chicken on a stick with rice. But talk to me about the flavors that you develop on the chicken on a stick that makes it so popular. We make our, our own sauce, not like we buy the teriyaki in the store. This is our, our, our own recipe. That's a big so, part of it yeah, though, that you're yeah. making it from scratch. Yes, from scratch. Give us a secret, like if people at home want to know like, what's something they should be doing with their teriyaki sauce to make it special? <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> Rodeo can't, Secrets. Can't, can't give that away. We're going to have a whole show <laughs> called Rodeo Secrets, and it's going to just be highlighting nothing because that's all it is. You'll never know the secrets. But, people, I mean, you've won multiple times, like, the best item out yes. here, right? 
best tasting, and it's for the chicken on a stick that you have. Yes. How does that feel knowing that people love the item that you're making? Yeah, uh, feel great. Look at this huge piece of chicken on the stick. And the way you cut it, the way it's, it's marinated, everything is unique to you. Yep. Juicy, tender. <laughs> a great texture on the outside of it. And you gotta have the rice. Got the rice on it. I'm gonna come live here with y'all. <laughs> this is good. And then if you wanna mix it up, mm -hmm. if you want people to stare at you while you're eating, you get the pineapple. Uh, this is a teriyaki chicken inside of the pineapple. Yeah. yeah. Wood pineapple cooking with, with, with the pineapple inside. So it's just the kind of different, you can taste the pineapple in there. This is the one. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you have that savory side from the teriyaki, but you have all that sweet from the pineapple. Mm -hmm. A fun presentation, and all the rice on the bottom. This is a winner. Hey, I'll just gonna take this one. <laughs> I'm gonna take that one to go. Yep. If you can carry that one for me, I'm gonna take that to go too. Joining me right now, Craig Morales. He is the manager out here at the Euro booth. This is the best right here. This is marinating our Greek wine, spices, fresh garlic, and a family recipe. Get all the nice veggies on them. Get some salad, some tzatziki on it. You can also get some fries on the side. Bam, look at all that. The tzatziki sauce is made from Yaya's recipe. Uh, Yaya is Greek uh, for a grandma. Oh, yeah. So this is Yaya's food. Oh, yeah, very good. Mm. That's a good bite. Mmm. <laughs> This is really good. Yeah, you taste all the flavors in it. Mm. Oh yeah, our spices and, uh, and everything. The chicken's really, really tender. It's cooked perfectly. You guys have a nice sear on the outside, but then you have that marinade that's in there, a little bit of the spices, and the tzatziki sauce is what's up. Yeah, the tzatziki sauce gives it an extra good flavor and it gives it that pop. That is fantastic. The San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo is in town right now, and if this is your first time to San Antonio, I got a food truck that you gotta try. It's called Ike Rico, and they have a delicious barbacoa quesadilla that is out of this world. This is a smoked barbacoa quesadilla, and this is a shrimp grilled cheese sandwich. We're gonna go inside Ike Rico food truck to see how they're making these Tex-Mex favorites, cause this is how Texas eats. First thing that I do is cook the shrimp. It's marinating in a garlic and cilantro blend that I made earlier. I say for a shrimp grilled cheese, I like to use about anywhere from five to six shrimp. We'll, we'll go with uh, six today. So we're gonna dome that up so it can start cooking. Hand me the toast, David. Oh man, there. look at that. Where'd that toast come from? It should be Texas toast, the <laughs> finest. <laughs> we like to use the finest. Butter it up. Gotta make sure it has some good coverage on there. <laughs> so the whole thing with shrimp and seafood, right? You can't overcook it, right? Yeah, you can. This is a very fast process. Yeah. You're a food truck and you're yeah, cranking you, out. You gotta be quick. Yeah, fast food. What I like to do too is I cut them up, dice it, kind of dice it up real quick. Okay. And then... Uh, Does that help kind of cook it evenly at that point? The main reason is just to kind of speed up the cooking a little bit, get it more evenly cooked, and to distribute it into the sandwich a little more evenly. Nice. I think it's ready for the aioli right now, actually. Can you hand me that? Yeah. All right, there you go. So this is a garlic aioli that we made ourselves. And I like to just lay it on the shrimp and the grill. That way it kind of gets the aromatic point of the garlic. As soon as that hits the grill, the yeah. garlic just like punches you in the yeah. face, man. That's awesome. Exactly. So the aioli sauce kind of brings it all together, you know? I mean, that Monterey Jack right there. Ooh. Yeah, ready? So the secret is... <laughs> Lots of cheese. <laughs> Lots of cheese. One, <laughs> two, two oh handfuls my of gosh. cheese, you know? You can kind of start kneading it a little bit, you know, folding it over. Yeah, you could probably adhere two bricks to each other with this amount oh, yeah. of cheese. Look at that! So this is, a, this is a, the magic right here. When it starts melting, it looks a little bit more reasonable. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, at first we used to just put one handful and we would end up with that. Shrimp grilled cheese sandwich over here at Ike Rico Food Truck. You have the aioli, the garlic, the cilantro, a lot of flavors that come from a traditional Mexican dish. You're throwing in the Tex-Mex though by having the Texas toast and all that gooey, cheesy niceness on there. But here we go, look at that sandwich. Ooh. Oh, really good. 
It tastes like a shrimp Alfredo inside of a sandwich. It's an absolutely amazing sandwich with the cheese in there. And you think it's a lot of cheese, but when you bite into it, it's the perfect amount. Nice and creamy, great flavors in there. And of course, nice little salty touch to it too to help finish everything off, brighten up the flavors. This is a killer sandwich and the toast is done right. Everything about this is a home run. Now it's time to make the smoked barbacoa quesadilla. Use the same cheese as the grilled cheese, the Monterey Jack. Monterey okay. Jack cheese is kind of the theme of the truck. So we're gonna put the barbacoa back on, and then the barbacoa, we just wanna make sure it's nice and wet. And now barbacoa, this is traditionally, it's cheek meat, right? It's beef cheek meat. Um, it's, it's a different variation. I mean, traditionally from Mexico, I mean, you're gonna make it out of the whole head. But I like to use the beef cheek. It's, it, it's really, really, really tender. Some people use the tongue. I mean, it, it really just depends what you like to use. You always wanna flip it over, check, make sure you get oh a nice little gosh. toastiness right there. So what a lot of people like to do is they like to load theirs up. So they'll add the jalapeno cream cheese, they'll add the pico de gallo, and they'll add the avocado. So we're gonna lay it on there. That looks absolutely After that, amazing. see how you, uh, you have the little crispy part? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I love crispy cheese. The burnt cheese part, that's my favorite. Love it. Man, I cannot wait, man. I gotta eat this thing. This right here is the Ay Rico homemade green salsa. I'm gonna put it on top of this quesadilla. There you go. It's nice and creamy, has a nice texture to it, good body, so it's gonna hold on to whatever you put it onto. That's the bite. <laughs> the crispiness from the cheese on the outside mixed with the butter, you're gonna get a nice toast on there, so it's just a crunchy texture. And then you have all that good smoke flavor coming from the barbacoa, the acidity off the pico de gallo, and that melty, cheesy goodness for that Monterey Jack cheese. And then that green salsa just finishes it off, that little spicy kick to it. This is an extremely delicious quesadilla. Ike Rico food truck is a killer example of some Tex-Mex fusion. Now it's time for our Texas Eats Rodeo Giveaway. The first letter in our secret word giveaway is the letter S. Follow along on the show as we give you the letters for the secret word to go online to ksat.com slash Texas Eats to enter for your chance to win a family four-pack of tickets to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and the concert. Coming up later on Texas Eats, rattlesnake sausage and deep-fried PB&J. I take you on another food tour around the rodeo. And coming up next... I take you inside a San Antonio restaurant frying up some delicious sweets. Texas Eats at the Rodeo will be right back.
Welcome back to Texas Eats. Well, the rodeo is all about fried foods. And Chef Peter Sipeson with Nola Brunch and Beignets here in SA is all about making some delicious fried beignets you gotta try. Check it out. You're probably wondering why I'm covered in powdered sugar. These are the best beignets in San Antonio. And we're gonna go inside Nola Brunch and Beignets to see how Chef Peter Sipeson is making them happen. We're gonna start with all of our dry stuff here. We got some powdered sugar. <laughs> yeah, you do. All over love, the place. <laughs> we love powdered sugar up here at NOLA, man. It's, if you leave without powdered sugar on you, you didn't do it right. We'll go ahead and get our cinnamon and salt, and we'll go ahead and mix that dry stuff together first, and that, that really helps everything just mix together real nice so you don't have clumps. Always mix your wet and your dry, and then you put the two together. So when the flour mixes in with the dough, you got a little bit of the water in there and the vanilla all together, some of that powdered sugar, it becomes that gooey, pasty beignet dough. It's great, you wanna get in there? Yeah, I actually do. I, <laughs> this is fun. the best part, man. The glory always goes to the frying part, but this is where all the love's at. All right, I gotta get my hands in the mixture here. Work all around the edges, make sure you get all the dry flour from the bottom mixed in there. Oh, yeah. I feel like that scene from Jurassic Park where they stick their hands in the, in the poop. Hey, no dinosaur poop up here. <laughs> yeah. If you need somebody to Mix the dough and sing a song for you, man. Just hit me up. Mix in the dough. You know what I like to think about when I'm doing this? Is that one day, this dough's gonna grow up and become something delicious. <laughs> Today's the day, buddy. <laughs> Today's the day. Look at that. And then, this is a successful surgery, That's doctor. That's why we love it. And then, just to kind of even things out, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on top so that it's not quite so sticky anymore. We're just All that work to get the flour incorporated, and you can just go and throw it right flour back. it, you know? <laughs> I can't believe that this sticky, gooey dough becomes a fluffy, crispy beignet. Just gonna kind of gently work it out, and we're gonna press all that stuff out. So it's just kind of a process of working from the middle out, trying to get about a quarter inch thick, and that gives it enough to where it puffs really nice. You know, having those little hollow crevices makes it real aromatic. And uh, so when you pop them open, you can smell all those flavors inside too. And that's what makes a good beignet. All these beignets for Nola, we do out as one little fryer, so we, we crank them out. You gotta learn how to do them fast. And we're just gonna cut Press that in them. half. Okay. Yep, and then we'll cut each half into three long strips. And then uh, we've got our beignets ready to go. 36, I probably do eight of those a day, so it's 36 times eight. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a, that's a math 36 problem. 36 times. <laughs> that's a lot of beignets. Chef Peter is old school, man. He's rolling it out by hand, and he said he's doing just about 2,000 of these things a week. This is where, like, you see them come to life. This is when they become beignets. Look at that chef nose. Always splash away from you. That's right, always. Have you ever burned yourself? Yes, sir. It happens, but you only dip your hands in the fryer oil once. That's a teachable moment. <laughs> So they don't get fried real hard, not crispy. We cook these just until they're nice and tender. So look, these are looking nice and golden. <sighs> it's a way to start your day right there. As soon as the dough hits the fryer, it becomes aromatic, just in the air. You can smell the cinnamon, the vanilla, the powdered sugar. It smells like desserts are floating in the air. Pop them open in there. Oh, look, you got a pocket. You get that? Yes. Nice little pocket, yeah. nice and airy. You see these crags of beautiful fried dough. Here, I'll, I'll have that one. I guess it's destroyed. Ruined. And they are hot, they'll get you. That's insane, right here. Mm. And then I got one here that's got a little bit of our lemon curd. We're gonna go ahead and fill oh it up. Oh my goodness. Not too, too much, but it's got a nice little bit of uh, flavor inside oh, there. Oh, look at that one, look at that. Get a nice puffy one here, and we'll get our cranberry oh, orange. He, he just went for it, he just stabbed Boom, it. Boom, look at that. And then, get it with that powdered sugar, let it rain. That's our seasonal one there, looking good. Our lemon, boom. This is a cranberry orange, stuffed to the brim. Oh my gosh, it's dripping. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, sir. You could put that on anything. Look at it, it's just coming out. Y'all, it is stuffed. The beignet itself doesn't need all this stuff on there, but when you put it on top of it, it just makes it that much more delicious. Step it up a little bit. You, oh yeah, and look at all that powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, it's like an extra layer of beignet skin. The cranberry orange has a great flavor to it. Slightly tart, very sweet. It's the perfect balance of the cranberry and the orange together. But I gotta try the lemon curd. My favorite. 
That's your favorite? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Look at that. It's coming out like a lemon curd lava. If there is a lemon curd lava island, I'd live on it. Dude, that's absolutely delicious. Thank you, sir. That is a refined flavor that you know you've had this recipe and you've worked it and you know what you're doing when you're making it because it is it's just perfect. When it comes to a sweet treat for brunch, nothing beats these beignets. Now it's time for our Texas Eats Rodeo Giveaway. The next letter in our secret word giveaway is the letter A. Follow along on the show as we give you the letters for the secret word to go online to ksat.com slash Texas Eats to enter for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and the concert. Later in the show, we're heading back to the rodeo to sample some more delicious bites. Coming up next on Texas Eats, we're in the HEB kitchen with Scott and Charlotte frying up some tasty treats. Welcome back to Texas Eats at the Rodeo. Right now, we're gonna head on over to the HEB Test Kitchen with Chef Scott and Charlotte, and they're gonna show you how to make some fried carnival favorites right at home. Let's put the fun in funnel cake. Scott and Charlotte are here with HEB, and we're gonna be frying up some food that you wouldn't really put in a fryer at home traditionally, right? But maybe like at a fair or at the rodeo, you would see these kinds of items. And that's what we're gonna be doing right now. It's gonna be a head-on battle between Scott and Charlotte. And we're actually gonna start with Charlotte. We're gonna see what you're gonna fry up, how you do it. But you got some pretty cool things up your sleeve, right? My two favorite things at the carnival are corn dogs and funnel cake. Today, I will be frying a corn dog dipped in funnel cake batter. Look at that, it like rips on yeah. to the item and it doesn't let go. And what you can see floating in there is actually a Twinkie. Ooh, look how gorgeous that looks when you flip it over there. And that's, a, you really have to keep these things moving in yes. the fryer, right? Yes. These are You're going for color. Okay. That's what we want to see, right? So we want to see a nice, even, like golden brown. And you want to see tiny bubbles, not big bubbles. Here we go. I just want to, come here, little monster. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Perfect coating. All right, cinnamon roll in the batter. Oh, 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 not too much there. Dang. That looks good. It's perfect, look at the whoop. Little swirly the swirls. The swirly swirl. Okay, and then right into the fryer. Yeah. I'm gonna throw it right in there. Get in there. Oh, it's like floating. It's like a little flotation device. There you go, see, you learn something every day. If you're stuck in the middle of the ocean, throw a cinnamon roll in there, it'll float. 
Are you a mustard guy or are you going to be a powdered sugar guy? I want to go weird. I want to have some powdered sugar on my hot dog. I'm with you. That sounds All right. strange. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this one's ready to rock okay, and roll. That's you got for some you. Powdered sugar on it. Grain powdered sugar. Okay. I'll do it your way. Oh, look at that. Okay. And then some for the for the fans. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Don't inhale the powdered sugar. <laughs> now it's time for our Texas Eats Rodeo Giveaway. The next letter in our rodeo giveaway is the letter R. Follow along on the show as we give you the letters for the secret word to go online to ksat.com slash Texas Eats to enter for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and the concert. Scott, you're going to show us some delicious chocolate things that you can funnel and fry. Yes, it's a buttermilk funnel cakes are using buttermilk, eggs, vanilla, like it's really, really simple, all-purpose flour. It's a really simple dough, and like Charlotte said, the longer you let it sit, the more it'll, the more it'll set up. So Twix are gonna go in, so I wanna make sure they're fully covered here, but these are looking pretty good. If it, if it opens up a little bit, I'm all, it's, it's okay. You talk about fair food being like, you know, what can you do that's healthy at the fair? And I think the best solution is just don't go to the fair. Yeah, to be able to I was going to say, like, something maybe just not. look at pictures on Instagram, because yeah. this is a part of fair food, is you DIY yeah. everything. You know what's interesting going through all this is seeing what floats and what sinks. Is that ho-ho's floating, is. but those twinks are sinking. They did totally sink. <laughs> <laughs> We've deep fried a hot dog, a Twinkie, yes. a cinnamon roll, Twix, a ho-ho, and an Oreo. There's really, there's no limit to what you can deep fry if you do there's it the right really way. There's really not, yeah, and yeah. even if you do it the wrong way. So you get the funnel cake batter that's available online on HEB.com. You can also get it on ksat.com slash Texas Eats, and you drop it right into the fryer. Okay. You kind of just give it a wiggle and then... Give it a wiggle. Okay, and let's see if you can... And it. release. It's going. See how it's going? There it is. Wait, it's going. It's going. Come it's on. Going. Shake it off now. Shake it off. Shake it off. Stop, stop adding water. I got to eat this cinnamon roll. You made that look so... Oh, good. Okay, I'm just gonna be like napalm, napalm on, on the inside. I was gonna okay. say. Yeah. I'm gonna take bite gingerly. It's like a little flag. This is this would be my my country's flag if I had my own country. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that is hot. All right. So yes, it was very hot. I did burn my mouth, but I have some water. It's okay. I gotta try it though. Yeah, this is. It's really very cool. good. Yeah. It's very good. Less. Much better when it's cut open and cooled mm -hmm. down. That's delicious. Good job, guys. Good job. If I had to pick a winner, I'd say you both win. I'd say it was Charlotte. I think Charlotte did win because on execution, but I you guys both a... win on flavor. Very delicious. You guys, it's rodeo season, rodeo time. So let's rodeo San Antonio. And don't burn your mouth when you're eating funnel cake stuff. Mmm, <laughs> that's so good now. <laughs> in the show, we're checking out one of the hottest barbecue joints in South Texas. And coming up next on Texas Eats, we're heading back to the rodeo to sample some more delicious bites.
Welcome back to Texas Eats. There's nothing like walking around the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo with a Texas-sized turkey leg. But there's so much more delicious food out here that you got to try. When you're walking around the rodeo and you're looking for something with a little bit extra bite to it, look no further than the Pioneer Wagon Cowboy Cooking Booth. And when you come out here, guess what? They got rattlesnake sausage on the menu. Let's go inside and see what else they're cooking up. With me right here, Chris Taylor. Now, you're going to be talking to me about what you got going on at this booth. And you got a little bit of like wild, exotic things in here. I mean, you see a picture of a rattlesnake on the outside of the booth. Well, and that it stops people in their tracks. With the rattlesnake, we actually make a sausage that has real rattlesnake meat in it. All right, this is the rattlesnake sausage. Give it a try. That's really good. It's almost like a bratwurst kind of flavor to it. I have a lot of people compare it to a high-end bratwurst. The Mountain Man burger with cheese, toasted buns, put it all together, look at that. And uh, the only animal that's not in here is, uh, is beaver. That's about <laughs> Elk, venison, antelope, buffalo, and wild boar. That's just a good burger. Hmm. Nice melted cheese on there. Buns, simple, straightforward. I mean, this isn't even dressed all the way, and I'm, I would eat this whole thing. Really good stuff, man. Chris, you guys rock out here. Thank you. Thank you. This is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that's deep fried. And they're making it right here at this booth. So we're gonna go inside and see how they're doing it. Right out the deep fryer, covered in powdered sugar. And Deborah, you said none of these have ever come back, right? I don't have come back at all. <laughs> you know what? Who needs a fork? I'm just going to go in for it. Y'all, this is the most phenomenal deep fried funnel cake item you're going to find anywhere. This is delicious. Absolutely fantastic. When you're out here at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, and you want to get a treat, you got to get the deep fried peanut butter jelly sandwich. This is phenomenal. Mm. Now it's time for our Texas Eats Rodeo Giveaway. The next letter in our rodeo giveaway is the letter O. Follow along on the show as we give you the letters for the secret word to go online to ksat.com slash Texas Eats to enter for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and the concert. Later on Texas Eats, we head on over to the watering hole to sip some craft beer and Texas wine. And coming up next on Texas Eats, we're checking out one of the hottest barbecue joints in South Texas. So stay tuned right here on Texas Eats at the Rodeo. Hey everyone, I'm Scott. And I'm Charlotte. And happy Valentine's Day to you. Uh, we're happy that we're going to show you a really cool Valentine's Day recipe. Got any big plans on Valentine's Day? Nope. Me either, except eating some Valentine's Day candy. But I do have one thing we're going to cook with today, and that's love. Love. You can get this at H-E-B. Really, love really cool. At so, H -E -B. Yeah, you sure can. Uh, so, you know what, what I make? want for Valentine's Day? You want the delicious I and fantastic. I want the instant Ace Nova Blender. It's even got a superhero name. So we're going to make in cool. our delicious uh, Ace Blender here, we're going to make the lemon, rewind that, lemon gorgonzola, gorgonzola stuffed, stuffed artichokes. artichokes. So it's really, really simple. We've gone ahead and blanched some artichokes. Uh, we've taken the centers out to create a little chasm to put our stuffed dip in. So she's gone ahead and added a chasm, herbs. A crater. It's a chasm. It's a small chasm. Uh, sour cream, gorgonzola cheese, garlic, thyme, parsley, a little bit of salt, of course. Oh, yes. Everything's going to get pulsed together. It's going to make a nice thick mixture. We're going to blend it, Boom. and then we're going to puree the whole thing, stuff our artichokes with it as much as we want, and then we're going to, look at that. It's going to take a second. There it goes, the Ace Blender. Okay, so once they're nice and filled up, we're going to go ahead and take a bank of breadcrumbs, throw it in the oven, brown it on top. What do you serve this delicious dish with? With the Austin East Siders Dry Cider or the Chris Cuvée Pinot Grigio. For this and other recipes, log on to ksat.com slash H-E-B.
Welcome back to Texas Eats. If you're in town for the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and you want to try some delicious barbecue, we got a great spot. Check it out. I know brisket is king in Texas barbecue, but this next spot we're going in is making some of the best smoked turkey in town. Let's check out D. Willie's Barbecue. It's Freddy Cruz, the man, the myth, right? You're out here making sure all of this is going smoothly. And who's your pit master out here? Our pit master is my co-owner, Derek Willis. Derek Willis is a genius. This is your third location, right? This is the third location in two years. In two years? In That's two years. incredible. It's because you're producing products like this. You guys have some of the juiciest, best smoked turkey in town. Well, it's just pure turkey breast, and we smoke it for eight hours in the smoke. Eight hours. Eight hours. So I know brisket is king in Texas, of course, when you're the Lone Star State and barbecue, that's the one item that you gotta try. But when a place like this is cranking out this level of turkey, phenomenal. This is what you have to try when you come here. Do you know what the seasoning is? A little like simple blend or? It's called D. Willie's seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got secrets. All right, well, I'm gonna try. You guys just slice this fresh. And look at this, it's just so tender. Barely even pull on it. The smoky flavor, all the seasoning, it goes to the center of the turkey breast. That is absolutely incredible. That is really good. And then of course you got your pickles, your onions, your jalapenos on the side. Now if somebody's really hungry, it's lunchtime. You also got a sandwich right here. That's right, ready to go. What kind of barbecue sauces do y'all have out here? We have two different barbecue sauces. We have our mild and then we also have our spicy. Oh. Is this mild or spicy? That's the mild. Okay. <laughs> if that was spicy, you'd be in trouble. Yeah, I was like, hold on, hold on. I just put a lot on there but you gotta dress it up, the pickles, the onions. That looks incredible. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. You're in heaven? <laughs> Shut your mouth, Freddy. <laughs> that is delicious. So, Freddy won't tell me the secret, but it's just a really great blend of seasonings that's all put on the outside of their meat, plus the way that they're smoking it. It's the combination of the two together that makes this place really unique. And you know when you're in Texas, brisket is king. And you guys have some delicious brisket out here as well. I mean, look at the bark on the outside of this. Sure. Is it another secret that you can't share how you guys make this happen? Well, I can tell you it takes 24 hours to make it. Wow. Do you, can you tell me what's on the outside of it? No. D. Willie seasoning. <laughs> So Derek really has a lot of input into this whole process, right? Correct. Smoking, and that's really how this all started. Derek was cooking out of a food truck. Freddie approached him, he had some of the barbecue, loved it. He told him, if you let me work with you, we could put this into places all across town. And sure enough, here we are in 2020, they're in their third location, and the barbecue is just as good as the first day I tried it. Oh my gosh, I can't even pick it up, it's so tender. Once again, brisket, you hold it up, you pull on it, and look how it's marbling. It has that nice fat rendered inside of it, it's like a honeycomb. This is how you know it is gonna be really good brisket. Mm. Got another. Oh my gosh, Damn, he's a genius, man. This is crazy. When you're eating brisket, are you a pickle and onions guy or you like a straight brisket? Gotta have the pickles and onions. Yeah, you gotta have the pickles. And pickle. the jalapenos. I'm gonna go for a pickle on this one. Incredible brisket. Is there a certain kind of cut that y'all are using, like Angus or right. Prime? Right, these are all black Angus Prime brisket. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Right. That's how you, I mean, that's how you get that quality. And the smoke flavor on there too. Can you tell me what kind of wood you all use? Yeah, well, I'll tell you that. Uh, mesquite and oak together. Oh, okay, so it's a blend. Yes, it's a blend. Can you tell me the blend? Mesquite and oak. <laughs> no, like is that's it 50-50? It. It that's, no, that's it. it. Okay. I'm trying to learn the secrets here. This brisket and the turkey together, it's like the ultimate barbecue flavors mashed all in one place. Really, really good. But when you wrap it all up, you want to get something sweet, you got to get some dessert, right? That's right. And you have the banana pudding that was sent from heaven. Join me right here on this spoon. It is like a pillow of banana goodness. Look at you, what he went for it. Look at here. Okay. <laughs> this is insane. It is like all the flavors you love about banana pudding, you put into a blender or something, and then you made that into another kind of pudding, and then you put it in here with a custard, and then you covered it with bananas. I have no idea how that works, and you put some whipped cream in there, some Cool Whip or something. You can't have all this tasty barbecue without having a great dessert at the end. And of course, it's the banana pudding. That is the ultimate Southern Texas barbecue dessert, and they're doing it so well out here. I don't even wanna know how they make it because it'll ruin the mystique, but it is delicious. It is so good. Turkey, brisket, it's not just that though. What else do you have on the menu? We also have uh, ribs, and then we have sausage, 
we have chicken as well. Their barbecue menu is extensive, and it's actually pumping out some of the best smoked chicken that you can get in San Antonio. But you have sausage, smoked chicken, turkey, brisket, and their ribs. All together, it really is just a robust menu. So you can't go to a barbecue joint and not try the sides. And over here at D. Willie's, they have some really incredible sides. They have their baked potato salad, their mustard-based potato salad. They also have their mac and cheese, their green beans, their pinto beans. Everything on here is just really, really awesome, and it goes really well with the barbecue. Now it's time for our Texas Eats Rodeo Giveaway. The next letter in our rodeo giveaway is the letter D. Follow along on the show as we give you the letters for the secret word to go online to ksat.com slash Texas Eats to enter for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and the concert. Later in the show, we reveal the final letter in our rodeo giveaway. Coming up next on Texas Eats, we head on over to the watering hole to sip some craft beer and Texas wine. Welcome back to Texas Eats at the Rodeo. And now we're here at my favorite place at the Rodeo, the watering hole. And inside the watering hole, you have the HEB craft beer tap room and the HEB wine cellar. And we're gonna go inside both places and see what they're pouring up. inside the tap room and it's a family friendly environment in here. They also have a lot of beers, craft beers on tap from around Texas. And right in front of me, we have three different craft beers from Texas. Of course, if you're eating a good steak, you got a burger from out there, a turkey leg, you got to stick right here with your Shiner box. Oh, that's good. And it's refreshing. And if it's kind of a warm day outside, there's no better time to drink an ice cold beer. This is the Southern Wheat from Carbach. Now this one is similar to a Blue Moon, so it's gonna have those same flavors. And you wanna put a little orange slice or something in it, right? Oh, oh, that's really, really good. That's awesome. And the last beer I have right here is the Free Tail Conservation from San Antonio. And actually proceeds from this beer go to benefit the San Antonio Zoo. Give it a try. Oh, see, like every single one of these beers, you know what, I just like beer, straight up. This is light, it's an easy drinking beer, goes with anything, pairs well with your favorite day. Now we're inside the HEB wine cellar, and right in front of me, three different wines from Texas. Right here, you have the Becker Vineyards Malbec, this is a 2017 vintage. You gotta twirl the glass a little bit. I just like Malbecs, this is good. 
Oh, that is good. It has a nice little, little bite at the end of it, but it's still very smooth. And like you can see the legs still on the side, leaning more towards like a full body from that medium body wine. This is good stuff. The second wine that we have right here is from California, but they're actually brewing their beer at Alamo Beer Company. So they're local-ish, right? Once again, you got something that's easy drinking, it's smooth, it's crisp, it's light, and you can pair this with that chicken on a stick, you'd be a rock star out there. The last wine we have right here is from Longhorn Cellars. This right here is actually a Muscat, but they call it their Brutal Blanco White Wine. So this is gonna be a sweet wine, white body. Let's give it a sip. That's kind of like dessert in a glass. That is delicious. It's like adult apple juice. The watering hole is a family-friendly must-visit spot when you come out to the rodeo. And here's the next letter in the Texas Eats Rodeo Giveaway. Now it's time for our Texas Eats Rodeo Giveaway. The next letter in our rodeo giveaway is the letter E. Follow along on the show as we give you the letters for the secret word to go online to ksat.com slash Texas Eats to enter for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and the concert. Coming up next on Texas Eats, we reveal the final letter in our rodeo giveaway. Welcome back to Texas Eats at the Rodeo. Our last letter for our rodeo giveaway, have you figured it out yet? It's the letter O. Go online to ksat.com slash Texas Eats to enter for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and the concert. When you're out here at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, there's a lot of food that you could try. But here's my list of the items that you need to try for 30 bucks. Starting with this right here. This is a beef fajita taco out here at Vandewall and you can get for $5. Next, stop by Chan's for their award-winning chicken on a stick. Set on a bed of rice and veggies, this entree comes in at $10. Then, head on over to H-E-B's watering hole to wash it all down with a cold craft beer, also for a cool $10. Then you can top it all off with a deep-fried PB&J dessert treat for $5. That wraps it all up with a grand total of $30. Thanks for watching Texas Eats at the Rodeo. Don't forget to go online to kset.com slash Texas Eats for your chance to win a family four pack of tickets to the Rodeo. And tune in every Saturday at 10 a.m. right here on KSAT 12 for another tasty episode of Texas Eats.